Hey everybody, Pastor Mike here with another word of encouragement for you from Zion Unleashed, the Church Without Walls. You know, I think one of the most popular, well-known Bible study, Bible verses in the entire Bible is John 3.16. Uh, you see John 3.16 signs at the athletic events. You see them on the side of the road. You see them being held by people, street preachers and the like. Uh, <clears throat> you also see people, some people even have that tattooed on their arm or, or on their body somewhere. And uh, it's, it's such a familiar verse, and yet I think sometimes what concerns me sometimes is that we get so con uh, familiar with the Bible and some of the verses that we kind of forget to really think about the meaning of it. Uh, so today my, verse, my uh, word of encouragement for you comes from a verse that you probably memorized like hundreds of other kids <clears throat> in Bible class, uh, Bible study, uh, confirmation, Sunday school. John 3.16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. I'd like you to think about that verse for a minute and think, pick it apart. Uh, first of all, it says, for God. Uh, think about God for a minute. You know, every culture, every race, every uh, ethnic group has a, a picture of a God. Um, uh, some of those gods are manifest in, in the earth or, or uh, the universe. Some of those gods are manifest in animals. Some of those gods are manifest in just uh, uh, idols and, and uh, symbols. Um, there's only one God in all of the races and all of the um, religions of the world that has a God that's personal. I mean, Jesus said, referred to God as my father, as your father, as our father. You know, father is about relationship. Um, unfortunately, we don't always have a real good picture of that because some of us dads aren't very good. But the picture of a perfect father image is something that all of us hope for, all of us long for. Jesus says God is our father. So think about that. Uh, for God, the, the creator, ruler, sustainer of the universe, but God, but God so loved. You know, love... Uh, is a powerful word. I think love is maybe one of the most powerful words in the English language. Love, when it's deviant, uh, is is uh, shown in anger and, and rage. Really, if you think about it, the people that are angry and full of hate uh, have a passion for revenge. They have a passion for getting even. They have a passion for standing for their own rights. And that's a passion. It's a love. Uh, but true love is different than that. God's love is love that's accepting. Uh, with God, there's no races. With God, there's no genders. Uh, with God, he, you know, Jesus, Jesus hung out with people that uh, none of us good Christian people would hang out with. He hung out with people that had issues with their gender. He had people hung out with people that had in issues with their sexual orientation. He had people that were, uh, you know, hung out. God loves. He loves whether he, a person is a priest or a pedophile. He loves whether a person is, is a Democrat or a Republican. He loves whether the person is, is poor or rich or black or white or any of the other colors out there. God loves us. And that's the other thing is that God so loved the world. The world, everything in the world, the creation, the people. There isn't a single person in this world that God doesn't love. Even the, the people that committed the riots and are doing the riots, even the people that, that are discriminatory and racist, and uh, even the people that uh, are full of hate, uh, you know, God still loves them. He doesn't love what they do, don't get me wrong, but he loves them as people. God so loved the world that he gave. You know, I think one of the biggest ways you can tell if somebody loves you is if they'll sacrifice for you. If somebody really loves you, they'd be, they'll be willing to give up things to build that relationship and to have that relationship. And God gave his most prized possession. He sacrificed his very own son just so that we could experience his love, to experience how much he, he longs to have a relationship with us. For God so loved the world that he gave. And he gave so that each of us could have eternal life. Life to the fullest. Uh, life now while we're alive and life afterwards. You know, when I was growing up, uh, people, maybe they still do it, I don't know. 
Uh, people would say, oh, Christianity is just a pie in the sky kind of thing. You're just doing that because you want to get out of hell. Uh, no, not for me. You see, even if heaven and hell wouldn't be true, which I believe it is, even if it's not, what I've experienced through Jesus Christ living this life has been well worth it. Well worth it. And so if I die and nothing else happens after that, I'm still so happy that I know Jesus. I don't know where you're at right now. Maybe you're afraid. Maybe you're angry. Maybe you're confused, scared, uh, frustrated. Um, God knows that. And the Father God of the universe loves you. That's my word of encouragement. Think about that today. For some of you, you've been walking with Jesus for a long, long time. It's time to just kind of rethink that through and realize what he's done. For some of you, maybe you've never made that decision. And you need to find that new life that Jesus can give. Either way, my prayer for you today is you'll, you'll be encouraged by the fact that God loves you. And he has uh, a desire for a relationship with you. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for today, and I thank you for who you are as my heavenly daddy. I pray that you would give me uh, a new appreciation for your love, and that you would help me to show that love to other people. Help me to realize that you don't love us according to who we are. You love us according to who you are, and help us to show that love to other people. I thank you for that. I pray for those that are struggling right now. Uh, so many people that their lives are devastated right now because of the rioting. Some have lost their lives. Uh, some have lost loved ones. Some have lost every possession that they own, that they had. I pray for them. I pray for their comfort. I thank you for the many people, the churches and others, individuals that are coming forth to help these people out. Uh, not only here in Minneapolis, St. Paul area, but worldwide. I pray against the anger. I pray against the frustration. I pray against the racism and the hatred. And I just pray that your love would shine through all of that. And then, Father, I pray for those that are on the front lines. Our medical professionals as they work with the virus, as our police and fire and servicemen as they work against the, the anger and the rage. Uh, I just pray for their safety. And then for our politicians, that you would give them wisdom and guidance as they guide us through. And I pray these things in your name. Amen. Hey, thanks for stopping in today. Hope you have a wonderful day. Sorry I took a little longer than usual today, but don't forget God loves you. He loves you so much. And uh, just enjoy his love. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you next time.